Naka, my, my name is uh, Ure Wemuta. I am uh, the head of uh, the Nuso Agricultural Technical Institute. Uh, actually, the, the institute has been around for ages. Uh, actually, 99 year old uh, institute. So, the whole purpose of the institute, uh, the original intent was to train youths in the rural communities so that they can become uh, farmers and be competitive. Uh, in the agriculture sector through uh, through commercial funds. So the organic uh, concept uh, is nothing new to Fiji. Uh, it has been part uh, and parcel of uh, the traditional system of agriculture. So for, for us uh, here in Nabuso, one of the very reasons uh, why we wanted to commit towards the program because uh, we we train people on the new newly and best practice of agricultural package of practices. So once students get up before they get out into their real farming environment, at least they have seen it, they have done it, they have practiced it, they have seen it for themselves. So once they go out, they can be ambassadors for the, this particular concept uh, in trying to disseminate uh, this important concept. Uh, the mindset of uh, the farming communities have really changed. So people have seen uh, the use of use of uh, synthetic uh, product uh, as the only best way forward for agriculture at this point in time. So chemicals, fertilizers coming in. So all these things are being used in the name of uh, improving yields. But nevertheless, uh, when the detailed instructions are not being followed, uh, the, in the negative implication uh, comes in. The, the benefits of uh, the benefits of organic uh, definitely we just can't argue with uh, something that is being produced naturally uh, as compared uh, to something that has been uh, where the synthetic material is being used uh, the use of uh, insecticide uh, pesticide uh, and the residual effects uh, of those uh, chemicals into the produce that we that we consume so we see that uh, the, the introduction of uh, the organic concept is uh, the best way and also a sustainable way uh, towards uh, agriculture production. Because uh, you look at uh, the whole food production system holistically. So it's just not trying to increase yield. It's not just trying to make money and uh, sell the, the produce into the market. It's uh, looking at uh, crop rotation, looking at uh, some of uh, the use of uh, the available material as part of compost, uh, mulching and uh, the different crop mixes that can be done uh, in order to allow a sust sustainable uh, growth in whatever that is being produced uh, in the field at that point in time. Like, like I've uh, said already, the move towards uh, organic around the globe will continue to increase. Uh, people are just becoming health conscious. And we, when we look at uh, the different brackets of uh, the, the earning capacity by the consumers in Fiji, uh, people at the, the higher end uh, and are a bit more conscious as compared to the lower bracket people. So, but uh, to people at the lower bracket, it's uh, price is the bottom line. Well, whatever is uh, cheap, they will go for it, be it uh, coming from one source. But for people at the higher end and at the middle end, we can see the changes that is happening now that they are a bit uh, more conscious, health conscious, they want they are, they are selective, uh, selective in the terms of uh, how food is produced. So the establishment of uh, the organic uh, demonstration farm here in Nabuso, we had uh, confirmed that it will be the 13th uh, enterprise that we will see that the students rotate in as part of practical learning. On that note, I wish to fully acknowledge the participation of uh, SPC and its partners uh, coming over to Novus and trying to partner with us in trying to implement this particular concept, but definitely we see it uh, as a positive way moving forward uh, in the production of uh, the food system and agriculture production as a whole for Fiji and definitely around the world. Thank you very much.